Hi and welcome to this new tutorial of SMOD and today we will review some things that I've been asked a lot about which will be how to relate a 3D stage element uh, which will be a projected surface and this will only concern the station version of SMOD which will be the paid uh, version, the paying one. So first uh, when you are going to import your 3D model, in this case I'm going to use this one, uh, be sure uh, that your UVs are correctly unwrapped. Uh, to do so in uh, Blender, you just need to import your 3D model, uh, then select your geometry, uh, then uh, click on Tab, and then you see your UV appearing if you are in UV editing mode. And uh, if you are not too good in uh, unwrapping a UV, what you can do when in this state is pressing U and do a smart UV project, okay? And this will result as a all fully done uh, UV unwrapped, but at least you will have no overlapping UVs, so this will work uh, in SMOD. Uh, but better to have a correctly unwrapped uh, model. So let's go back in SMOD and let's create a new project, which will be a minimal project and we call it 3D Relighting. Okay. So now I have only a project with a content map and nothing in the stage. So let's go in the pipeline element to display the stage uh, content and import this model. So I will import that as a surface element, which will be the one uh, that we'll use uh, for um, for a projection, uh, video projection setup. And for now you see that nothing is displayed because I need to link my surface element to uh, the content map that I will use uh, to display any content on my uh, on my model. So if you are working on a LED screen, uh, so you can uh, import uh, your surface as a LED screen. Uh, for now I will uh, remain with the surface, uh, projection surface because uh, as you'll see, the, um, the process will, uh, will be the same. So now if you go into the content map here, you see uh, that the content uh, test pattern, which is uh, the default layer of the project, is displayed over the UV of my model. As, as you see, uh, in Blender, the UVs are squared, and in any other 3D software, you will always see your UV map as a squared map. Uh, but then in SMOD, uh, the content map will automatically fit uh, the UV. So keep that uh, in mind uh, when you do your own UVs. Uh, then uh, let's import a little image uh, to see uh, clearly what is going on. Okay. And now my image is displayed, as you see, on my content map, and so uh, will be displayed on my 3D surface uh, accordingly to its UVs. So what we are going to do now is create uh, the setup, uh, the building blocks that will allow us to do 3D relating uh, directly on SMOD. So, so to do that, uh, first I'm going to the pipeline, to the stage element, and I will create an element uh, video projectors. Okay. And uh, to place my video projector, this will depend on, uh, on of your project, of course, but uh, in my case, I will go into simulation mode and then send full white into my video projector here. And this will allow me to see clearly what's going on uh, into my, uh, my project, into my, uh, my stage. So let's place that like this with a 90 degrees rotation. Okay, that will do the trick for now. Uh, and also, you see here simulation, what I can do is also put uh, into illumination, and this will allow me to see what uh, is the uh, most lighted part, uh, the part of my uh, geometry that uh, receive uh, the most lighting and the less. So this can be quite convenient uh, to do simulations of a uh, project. So let's go back into preview mode. And as you see, the difference in the preview mode and the simulation one is that the simulation will show uh, as uh, your content will be displayed, uh, while the illumination mode, uh, the, sorry, the preview mode will show the, um, like a perfect display. Yes. Perfect display if uh, your soft edge are well done and everything. So now if I go into simulation, I see still a full white because I do not need to forget to put back my video projector into content mode. 
and let's go back into preview mode. All right. So now what I'm going to do is to create a 3D virtual screen. So right click, create 3D virtual screen. And as you see, virtual screen say uh, mapping is not defined uh, because uh, right now uh, I did not select uh, any camera to use for doing my 3D projection using the virtual screen. But first I will uh, change the resolution of my virtual screen. And for me, the better is to adapt uh, to have the same resolution uh, in the 3D virtual screens and uh, in the content map that we will be using in this case HD. And then by selecting the 3D virtual screen, I see uh, into the pipeline elements, my virtual screen and its parameter here. And it's in, in its parameter, I will select my VP1 as a source for my 3D virtual screen. Uh, as a reminder, my VP1 is a video projector that we just created into the, the stage uh, element. And now let's give a little color label to my um, content map and my virtual screen. To do that, I will click on this square here and put them uh, a color. So as you see, once you click a color, uh, the windows color windows disappear. So you have to do that in two steps uh, if you want to change uh, the color. And now I have my content map here uh, displayed in uh, yellow in my uh, element tree. And of course, my 3D virtual screen will be displayed uh, displayed as red. So now let's rename this 3D virtual screen by um, 3D lighting, for instance. Go back into the content map and send uh, my uh, image here of the my, the image of the chair. We'll send that uh, through the 3D lighting uh, virtual screen. And as you see on my content map, uh, my content is completely distort because now if I'm going to the stage, uh, what's happening is that uh, right now my uh, my uh, my image is displayed uh, is projected to my surface using this video projector. And as you see, if I switch a little bit my video projector, uh, maybe laterally, you see that my image is uh, moving uh, accordingly. And that is this uh, technique that we will use to do um, 3D relighting. So first, let's create a composition. And let's call that 3D model and import the same uh, FBX that we use as a projected surface uh, inside this composition uh, now in the master scene. So let's uh, go back here, FBX, mannequin.fbx. Uh, and if you are a little bit lost in your media, you can always uh, select your surface and um, ah, no, you cannot. Sorry. OK, let's continue. Um, so let's import the mannequin into the 3D model uh, composition as a reference geometry. OK, and let's visualize this composition to see what's inside. So right now I have um, a composition with a mannequin and the default camera of SMOD. And what I am going to do is by selecting this composition and going into its parameter to select the video projector one as a camera of this composition. And now you see that uh, my composition is using uh, the video projector uh, as, a, as a point of view of my, uh, of my 3D model. So let's add a little renderer, uh, surface renderer because I have some preset of 3D element. Let's uh, take brick six, for instance. Okay, not too beautiful, but we'll do the trick. And let's add a little light into it, a point light, and let's go into 3D mode. So to do that, I deactivated and reactivated the visualize to be able to select this uh, icon here. Sometimes there's a little bit of a uh, bug here. So just for you to know. OK, let's augment the radius of the light. OK, two lights. OK, and now let's do a little animation on this light on its uh, position uh, in Y and Let's create a back and forth loop that I will put directly inside my composition and say that it will go from zero to two meters. And let's reduce a little bit the lighting of the red light. 
Okay. And now this uh, composition is currently sended uh, directly through the content map. So my uh, image here, um, sorry, my model is, uh, as you see, is sending directly through the content map. That's why in my stage, it does not work. So what I need to do is to send this composition, uh, this one, into my 3D virtual screen. And what uh, will happen then, uh, if I uncheck visualize, is then my composition uh, is fit uh, to the to the 3D model, and so I can use uh, SMOD to to do any kind of uh, of relighting that uh, that I want. So that's all for for now. And um, just for you to know, if you are going to work not on a projected surface but on um, a LED, LED screen. What you'll probably need to, to do is to import your uh, FBX as a um, LED screen, connect it to the content map, and then your LED screen, you can either use a video projector. If you are doing a video projection, it's more convenient. Uh, but you can also use a 3D camera as a reference for your 3D virtual screen. So. Let's relink it to see what's happening. Link it to the perspective camera. And let's not forget to change also the 3D model from, let's call that mapping cam. Okay. So now my 3D relating is remapped to the mapping cam. And let's not forget, uh, if you do that, to relink uh, the camera of the composition too through the mapping cam. And then this uh, should adapt to your stage surface. So this works, but as you see, now you have a little warning that says that the aspect ratios of this composition is different from the one of the camera. So in this case, it's 16.9. Uh, so if that happens, as this warning happen while you use um, a mapping uh, cam instead of a video projector, so then just go into the parameter of the camera and change the custom aspect ratio uh, for the aspect ratio that SMOD uh, tell you to use. And then this should result in a, a more correct uh, mapping. And as you see here, I have some strange things appearing happening on the head of my uh, person, of my character, because of course, what I need to do is to be sure that my model is inside of my camera. So that's all. If you have uh, any questions, then feel free to ask. Uh, see you.